Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this lecture we will be studying about digital to analog conversion. So in the previous videos we have studied digital to digital conversion and now we will be starting about digital to analog conversion. Now digital to analog is the process of changing one of the characteristics of an analog signal that is a sine wave based on the digital information that you want to transmit. So, a digital to analog conversion basically means that you have to send digital data but for sending it you have analog signal that means you have a sine wave, a continuous signal like this but the data that you want to send is in the form of bits which are in zeros and ones and their combinations, right? So, what will you do? You will change, you will basically use an analog signal and change the shape, the characteristics of this analog signal so that it represents the information, the digital data that you want to transmit. So what are the characteristics that will be changed for an analog signal? The three most important characteristics for any analog signal are the amplitude of that signal. Now we have discussed in the previous videos that amplitude basically means the highest point, uh, the highest voltage value that is achieved by a signal and is repeated in the uh, cycle of that signal. Okay, It is repeated across different cycles of that signal. So the second characteristic will be the frequency, how many waves, how many cycles are getting completed by a signal in one time unit is known as the frequency and the third one is the phase. So there are three important characteristics of any analog signal and by changing these characteristics you can perform digital to analog conversion. So if you change the amplitude of the analog signal to encode or represent your digital information then that is known as amplitude shift keying okay if you change the frequency it will be known as frequency shift keying and if you change the phase that will be known as phase shift keying okay psk ask and fsk now shift keying basically refers to the process of changing either the frequency amplitude or phase to represent digital information for transmission of data okay now in this case what we are basically doing we need to study some important terms and some important uh, formula that will be used in future when you study each of these amplitude frequency and phase shift keying techniques that we will be discussing in the future lectures. So for digital to analog conversion you must know what is meant by a data element. So these two terms are very important data element and signal element. So data element basically means the smallest unit of information that can be represented on the signal and that smallest unit of information that has to be exchanged during signal transmission. So basically the smallest data element is the bit. Okay. Now when you encode multiple bits your smallest data element becomes the number of bits that you are encoding in each signal element. So if you are sending one bit representing in, uh, in a single signal element then the data element will be one bit. If you are representing two bits then that in that case the data element will be two bits smallest unit of information that you are transmitting for exchange of information okay. So as I said the signal element basically means the smallest part of the analog signal that remains constant or that is constant or the smallest part which eventually repeats itself the part that actually carries the data element okay now what is the relationship between a signal element and a data element so this formula is very important so the uh, formula is signal element is equal to data element multiplied by 1 by r now here 
S represents signal element and the unit is baud. N represents data, sorry, uh, S represents signal rate and the unit is baud. N represents data rate and the unit is bits per second or BPS. And R represents the number of data elements carried in one signal element. Okay. So, we have understood that one data element basically means that the smallest unit of information that is being transmitted. So, bit rate is defined as the number of bits per second that are being transmitted and baud rate or the signal rate specifies the number of signal elements that are being transmitted per second. Okay. So, these two terms will help you understand what is the bit rate that means how many bits are being sent per second and baud rate how many signal elements are traveling in this analog signal per second. Now, the relationship between bit rate and baud rate is, is uh, represented by S. S you can say either as the bit rate or the uh, sorry it, you can say it as the baud rate or the signal rate okay so these are used interchangeably so signal rate is equal to data rate multiplied by 1 upon r where r represents how many data elements are carried in one signal element and the formula for calculating r is given by r is equal to log l base 2 where l represents the type of signal element that is being transmitted so the value of l would be given to you if you are performing any numerical question and you have to then calculate how many signal are getting transmitted in one second by using the value of r and the data rate okay or if data rate has to be calculated, then you will be given the values of S and R and you can easily calculate. Now, the last and important point for this particular video is what is a signal carrier signal? So, carrier signal is that high frequency analog signal which is produced by a sending machine so that digital information is represented on that signal. So basically in digital to analog conversion, the signal, the analog signal that actually carries digital information from the sender to the receiver, that particular signal is known as the carrier signal. So it is the characteristic of the carrier signal that we are actually changing. If we change the amplitude of the character signal, based on the information that we want to transmit it becomes amplitude shift keying if we change the frequency of the carrier signal based on our digital data it becomes frequency shift keying and if we change the phase of our carrier signal it becomes phase shift keying okay so these were the basics of digital to analog conversion in the next video we will be studying about three different types of uh, digital to analog conversion techniques the shift keying techniques okay thank you for watching if you understood this video and it helped you in some way please let us know in the comment section below like our video share with your friends and also mention if you have any doubts thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam